Welcome back, city players and fans, to Capital City. This is the airport project, and video number seven, we are finally going to lay some runways and taxiways today. Um, I've kind of posted, I postponed this video for a couple days, uh, because uh, a little birdie told me that the... Uh, Airport DLC, uh, that they were going to release some more information about the airport DLC. Uh, so I wanted to watch that and find out what's going on so I could share a little bit of that. And I wanted to see uh, how that would uh, affect that project, this project here, to see if maybe I should wait or what I should do. But I think this uh, is still very relevant, and I think this airport is still going to look great the way we're going to do it. And then maybe the airport DLC can add to this, I think, is what we're going to do. Um, so let's go ahead and get started on here. Uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, we have this uh, interstate spur running through on the south side of the airport here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and shrink this into a tunnel or dive this into a tunnel. So that way we could uh, use taxiways and, uh, and uh, runways over the top of it. So uh, we'll take the uh, move it and uh, I'm gonna grab everything here. Actually, I want to turn the trees off. There we go. Grab everything that I want to bring in down into the tunnel, and then uh, we'll zoom down. And then uh, use the uh, page down button to uh, start shrinking this or dropping it down below. And of course, you could do this a couple different ways. This is the way I like to do it, just because uh, I like to be able to control what segments I make a tunnel. And I may want to. In the future, I'm going to make all of this a tunnel right now, but I may in the future want to bring a couple other segments open uh, so I could do some things with them, um, maybe for ventilation or something like that, have two or three road segments open, um, that type of thing. So um, I like to control every segment that I make a tunnel. So instead of just making a tunnel and then trying to make it go in and out, uh, I drop the entire road down and then just turn them into segment, uh, into the tunnel segments using the, uh, the tools that I have available here. Uh, I'll drop it down to about where the street lights are at ground level. That's about where you want it. And, uh, and then obviously you have to adjust the, uh, the, uh, slope in a minute with these uh, roads, but that's about where you want it at. And then go ahead and pick the uh, individual. Actually, you could use the uh, the window also on this, and then just pick those two nodes and just drop them down just a little bit. And that changes the angle, the descent angle of the road. Um, and actually, that's kind of messed up there. Um, Play that route again and see if we can get that. See if we can get that to come out a little bit better. Oh, I see why. That's because it's changing from a uh, three lane to a four lane. So what we use there is the uh, node controller. Pick that node and turn that into a slope. And see how that works. Just pick the node, make a slope, and uh, I guess once you make it slope, you can't turn it back off. But it changes the angle to uh, to make that uh, where it's not flat anymore. So yeah, that's perfect. And uh, I'll show you that on the other side here. But uh, that looks good there. And then uh, obviously we want to adjust. Let's see here, these two nodes here. There we go. 
and actually these are all three lanes so I will not show you that because it looks pretty good there okay so what we want to do is we want to select the uh, three lane highway and uh, we want the uh, tunnel and then obviously the uh, upgrade tool Good road tool. Wait till we're flat uh, underground to the, to the height that we want, and then uh, select the segments we can change into a tunnel. Way down. So we should be getting pretty close there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Actually, we may want to. Uh, that looks good. So I said we may want to back that off one one segment. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade that. Drop that down ground level. Turn that back off. Yeah, I think we'll leave that like that for now. Um, and then we could actually, yeah, we could bring, cut this out right here so that's all even. And that would make the terrain look better. So, yeah, we'll probably do that. Um, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so the next thing uh, that gives us all this room to build uh, runways, taxiways, all that stuff. Um, so, I think that looks good there. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pick our uh, terrain tool. And uh, when you're building runways, uh, you want to make sure that uh, the ground is even all the way down to the, I'd probably say even to the hundredth of a meter. Um, and uh, pick, and actually it looks like this. Well, this is pretty good. You have to get on the other side of the road before it changes. But uh, see so yeah, how that's 309.19 on this side and 0.18. See, so you want it all the same. So we'll pick that and start painting all this and make sure that we get all this the same height all the way around. Take it anywhere you want to put a runway or a taxiway. Because you do want it to be completely flat. Um, and then there's a couple things that I'm going to do here later that uh, you can definitely tell if it's not flat. Alright. And then what we are going to do... I, we are going to add a little bit of terrain here. Out here. Yeah. And then uh, with this terrain tool, it does allow you to go outside the city um, and modif modify the terrain outside the city, which is absolutely great. Um, obviously, I have the soil turned off, so. I can uh, modify at my leisure. Don't have to worry about dumping it or doing anything like that. I can do do anything to the land I want without having to worry about getting rid of it or finding more dirt or whatever. Um, there we go. So we want that nice and smooth. And I uh, probably will modify this a little bit more off camera. Um, just because I'm very picky about it and I don't like that center line in there like that. Looks pretty rough. Um, but uh, 
this looks pretty good um, okay so we're gonna move over to the other side here we're gonna do the same thing here and uh, we're gonna pick uh, you know this this train over here doesn't necessarily have to be the same height as the other side uh, we are going to connect them um, so planes will be able to travel to both sides uh, if you follow me on Instagram you I'm sure you've already seen how that's going to be done because um, I was playing around with it a little bit to see uh, what it would take to do that thing but uh, you'll see uh, what that'll do um, so we'll get this taken care of and then uh, we're going to lay a couple runways here now uh, some information here if you don't know uh, if you weren't able to watch the uh, uh, information about the new airport DLC that new DLC is a painted district just like the uh, industry and the parks and the universities and one of the neat features of that is it will um, select the uh, it will flatten the land for you so say if you're painting a district and you want to paint all of this the airport district whatever level like if you started right here and started painting the district on there whatever height this land is right here it flattens this to that exact altitude which is very handy um, you know I think that's uh, that's great because it makes your runways all nice and flat makes the tarmacs nice and flat um, everything's at the same level um, I don't know how that's going to affect maybe these terrain tools maybe if you wanted to uh, you know have some land formations uh, off to the side of the uh, runway maybe a little slope or something off to the side of the runway or something like that whether you could do that or not I'm not sure we'll have to find that out if uh, if the uh, uh, district will let you do that all right so I think we're done on that and uh, yeah okay nice and flat okay so now we're going to go in and we are going to use actually two different types of runways and two different types of taxiways and uh, we are going to use let's see here we go this is the 32 meter um, runways and uh, this is the no marking so we're going to use this one we're going to use this one the marking and it, it looks just like the default runway or the vanilla runway it's exactly the same thing except it's a little bit wider um, and we're going to lay this down uh, just in a straight line and these are going to be super for massive jumbo jets um, so I'm thinking uh, you want to leave about 30 tiles from the end of the runway to a road or a business or anything like that that's usually that equivalent to people in the United States that's about a quarter of a mile uh, give or take uh, a little bit so uh, you want to leave little bit of room there most people don't they don't most of the time they don't allow buildings on the ed, end of runways anyway but um, you know there's a lot of situations where there are roads at the end, edge of runways and those are usually you know 0 0.25 0 0.3 uh, miles from uh, from the end of the runway there not necessarily the end of uh, like the lights and uh, the uh, the runoff area but the end of the runway itself is about uh, usually about 0 0.25 0 0.35 uh, miles give or take uh, yeah. looking at that on the board. Uh, it's a little bit further away from that road than what I was wanting but that's fine uh, next thing I'm gonna go ahead and put a taxiway in here and uh, we're going to do that right to there. Have it run all the way down. I don't think we need it to go that far, but we'll run it that far for now. And then we'll go back up to, and uh, I don't know if you can see this on the screen, these are all different. Uh, 
runway types on there um, that I was playing around with trying to decide what type of runway what I wanted to look like on the uh, one of the uh, runways to look like in the airport so um, go and I may change the direction on these runways uh, right now I'm going to leave them both the same direction so planes will come in and land from this direction and then they'll also take off this direction uh, for these two runways so I think I want to do that um, the next thing here I'm wanting to do is I've got these other runways that I downloaded now these are decoration only and there's the 60 meter and the, the uh, 80 meter wide runways and I'm going to use the 80 meters come off just a little bit off the edge right like that and this becomes very relevant because I'm thinking that you would be able to still use this with the airport DLC I'm hoping that they will still work uh, because of the new airport DLC the runways look pretty similar similar to the default runways and uh, I don't I'm not a big fan of the uh, uh, dark pavement um, if you look at most uh, runways around the world uh, especially here in the states but around the world really anywhere uh, most of the runways are lighter in pavement um, this has a little bit, a bit of a dark area here um, and there's some others that you can use that uh, I will actually show you uh, maybe not on this video but on another video and uh, it, it it just it looks better than the dark in my opinion I think it just that just looks better at, at a height at, at, at an altitude looking down all right the next thing we're going to do uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, put the taxiway in So if you have the airplanes coming in and landing, they're going to come down here, turn onto this taxiway, and then turn down and go down the road, or down the taxiway this way. They're going to land this way, and then turn and go uh, go down that direction. And then there's this, of the same download, we've got the 40 meter taxiway. And we're going to do the same thing here over the top of way here and then take that node there connect to there and I could have just continued on but I'm gonna go ahead and pick this go over uh, I could have just continued on because these don't matter they're just uh, decorations doesn't matter what direction and then I'll use the uh, node controller select that node there and I want to make this a little bit wider there we go and to an ultimate test here is I'm going to grab a prop airline this is a uh, L-1011 very popular back in the 80s I'm not sure if, uh, if they're used a lot nowadays but but you can use this prop and there you go more than enough room and uh, obviously the runway looks the right size for these jumbo jets um, off to the edge here there's the uh, blast embankment but then there's enough of the runway to give the pilot some breathing room when he lands taxiways are the same way um, the uh, airplane uh, the jet is uh, none of the uh, engines are over so even if you had a four engine plane it's still going to be over the taxiway it's not going to be into the grass 
Uh, you got very little of the wing tip over. I think that just uh, that just looks good there. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put in a, another runway. Um, yeah, I forgot I had these here. Uh, yeah, there are decoration ones too that you can download where it's the exact same thing. It looks exactly the same with the decals and everything, but the uh, the game won't treat it as a uh, runway. It just it's there for decoration. Uh, but let's see we want to leave enough room for a taxiway and then what we want to do is is that 160 70 uh, this is going to be quite a bit of a smaller room but we still want to make it long enough that it's worth our while to actually build it. And that looks like that's pretty good there. And you can see the difference. I'll turn the uh, turn that off. You can see the difference. So you can either have these runways on there or this uh, the black uh, asphalt. And I just prefer the... Uh, just prefer the runway decorations, personally. It's just my personal preference. And I'm hoping this will work with some the DLC also. Um, so we'll take that there. So we have that in perfectly. All right, so now we need a taxiway. Um, let's run it down. I should have thought about the taxiways a little bit more. I thought more about the runways than I did the taxiways. Mm, yeah, run the taxiways here. Just to run all the way to probably right here. And then connect there. And then take the uh, turn right here down. There we go. So you get the idea there. Uh, so then what we're going to do is now right now what we have laid down the air the game will actually use these. They will land on these runways. Come down to this, turn around, or turn, and then turn again, and then come back down, and they will travel down through the center of this, of these two runways over here. Now, if we just lay this runway out, like, uh, say, I want to do another runway or another taxiway here. down here. and we're going to adjust that a little bit just clipping that let's say we want to maybe have halfway down the runway we want to have a taxiway doing this. like that and then maybe taxiway doing doing this just like this now they won't use these ramps here or this because it doesn't have these airport roads in there it's only going to use because see when you plant these like when you zoom in you don't see any arrows on there whereas you see arrows here and you see arrows there so you won't so you can put as many as the of these uh, dummy taxis taxiways in as you want um, like here this one's 
It'll be kind of a short landing here, but see, we want one right here. And we'll go down just a little bit. So we want one here, going off of here and going there. And then maybe, uh, yeah, that works. And then, uh, why not? We'll just put one here. Because if you look there, there's taxiways intersecting the runway everywhere. So as soon as the plane can get slowed down, they uh, they get them off the runway to uh, limit the ability of uh, or limit the chance of accidents. So they get them off the runway as soon as possible. So that looks pretty good there. And then uh, what we need to do then is taxiway. notes here. Actually, I want to connect it to that and run this to that, like that. And then we'll see how that works with these others here. And then maybe we'll run this one here. change this angle here there and then maybe see if we can adjust this node here right there right like that yeah so then we put in the taxiway Obviously, we'll adjust those. <laughs> um, bring, let's see this here. There we go. And then bring this. Um, trying to think if. Yeah, that would work. Bring that over here, okay. Because we're going to have a taxiway running back on this direction. Because this is where we're going to make the crossover. Uh, we're going to turn this part of this into a tunnel. And make a taxiway over the top of this to connect to the, uh, the two sets of runways. Because we have runways on the other side, obviously. Um, Alright, um... Probably not the best layout, uh, but uh, that's what we got for now. Um, may think about it and adjust it again later. Uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Still may be a little bit too close, but we'll leave that for now. Um, and then uh, we'll go ahead and bring this. Bring 
this over, bring this over, and this is just like adjusting any network in the game, where you're just kind of tweaking it, making it look the best you can, uh, making it look the most realistic as possible. Um, And then one solution here is the uh, actual net tarmac is or ta uh, taxiway is connected underneath this. Um, so one thing you can do is maybe run this along the side and then just paint all this gray. Uh, you could probably do that, which I may end up doing that. I just have to make sure that there's enough room for... Um, craft here. So I just want to make sure if I bring that over here that the wings aren't going to clip anywhere. So if I bring that over this direction I just got to make sure it's not any closer than that. So so we'll, we'll work with that. Alright, we're at uh, 30 minute mark. Uh, I want to go into a couple things uh, I learned about the DLC before we uh, end this particular video. Uh, we're going to do part 8, we're going to do the runways over here, and probably clean up the tarmac, or the uh, taxiways a little bit, um, and then kind of bring it uh, bring it together. Um, but uh, the uh, new DLC looks great, I can't wait, uh, we're about uh, two weeks out, give or take, I think it's, it's the 12th, uh, so it's the 25th, so we're about two weeks out, give or take. A couple days. Uh, the uh, like I said, the airports are districts now. So you would paint a district just like you would paint a, a park, amusement park, na uh, nature reserve, uh, an industry, a university, any of that. You would paint it just like that. Um, there is an additional, like I mentioned before, the uh, altitude. It does change the uh, altitude of the. Uh, terrain, so whatever altitude that you start at, um, the entire district becomes that same altitude. Um, and I don't know whether you can adjust that later or not. I'm assuming that you can, um, but um, it, it does adjust it and flatten it for you to begin with. Uh, second thing is there's a number of different, uh, I think there's three different classes of airports you can choose from. Um, I'll let you look at those. Uh, there's a classical, um, like a probably oh, 1930s, 1940s airport type style. Uh, maybe the old Charles de Gaulle airport, uh, uh, that type of style. And then there's a modern looking airport, more like uh, mid 20th century airport into the 60s, 70s, maybe on up into the into the 80s and then there is a, uh, a, a another airport that's more modern that's more into the 2000s uh, you can uh, mix them so you can have uh, the concourse part of it one format and the the lounge or the tower or something like that um, another format and it is a network um, so you can draw like the concourse uh, Start with the center building, like the arrival and departure, and then you draw the concourse out, and it's just, just like a network of road or fence or uh, pipes, power lines, any of that. It's just like so you can make that concourse as long as you want, and um, and then you can do uh, add airplane stands onto the side of it, um, so you would basically add the gates. So if you wanted to do that, say you'd place a building here, and then you'd run it all the way down, and then you would just place stands, airport stands for these little uh, jetways and the, the gates and everything. So that's, that's pretty sweet. I like that. Um, obviously, there's a uh, metro in the larger airports. There's a metro just like there is in the, in the uh, international and in the... Uh, uh, this this airport here, there's a metro stop in there. Uh, there's a couple different uh, different buildings that you can take a look at, uh, decoration buildings. Uh, there's some uh, uh, 
trying to think of some of the other stuff that was on there. Uh, there's there's quite a bit. It looks uh, look looks really nice. I'm just hoping that these uh, these runways here, these decorations here, will work over the top. Uh, the runways are networks also. Um, so the runways and taxiways, so you basically just connect them just like we're doing here. Um, you place the runway and you connect it to the node of the uh, concourse. And uh, you build the taxiways right next to the concourse and then you connect the uh, uh, jetways or in the uh, airport parking uh, to the taxiways. Uh, or I should say you connect those to the uh, airport to the concourse and then you connect the taxiways to those and then obviously the taxiways connect to the runways just like these they work uh, just very similar to these uh, but this is all vanilla so if you're uh, on uh, a uh, ps4 ps5 an xbox uh, any of the any of the consoles or anything uh, or if you just want to play a vanilla game on a pc uh, they all work uh, just like this um, I think that's about it uh, for now. There are a couple. Uh, there's a a bus and a, a couple buses and uh, a new metro train that go to the airport to have the airport decoration. I think there's a fence. Uh, there is some uh, trees and stuff on there too. Um, so it, it, overall, it looks. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm uh, definitely going to be uh, purchasing that the uh, very first day that it's available. Very first day. All right. So um, it's all about that for now. Uh, like I said, this is uh, part seven. We laid these uh, three one one ways. We I do reserve the right to tweak these a little bit. Um, obviously, we've got to connect this over the terminal up. And uh, we're going to lay a couple runways this direction out here, and then probably one out here this way, and then maybe one going the other direction. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see about that. See how that works. But we'll do that in the next video, and then uh, probably the video after that we'll do some detailing, and uh, we're going to make this a tunnel here and uh, build a taxiway over the top of this so planes can land on this runway and then go to this terminal and vice versa so uh, it will uh, go anywhere on the uh, airport grounds there and then uh, probably in that video we'll do some uh, we'll lay down some shopping centers and uh, some hotels and then probably uh, maybe one video after that uh, finishing up the detail work of maybe putting in a cargo airport and uh, and and that uh, by then I was thinking the DLC I will have the DLC so we'll take a look at that and see what we can do to kind of tweak this airport with that I, obviously I don't think I'm going to replace these terminals um, with the with the new terminal. Um, but I, what I may do is create another terminal, maybe in the one of these center areas here, on one of these sides, if I'm able to get this to work. Um, it may or may not work with these uh, airport roads, but we'll take a look at it and see. Either way, I may just uh, plop it down so we can take a look at it and, and, uh, and uh, play with it a little bit for our next project. But uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that. Uh, if you uh, have any comments, uh, feel free to leave those. Any questions, feel free to leave those. I do read all the comments that are left. Uh, please help the channel out. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And uh, remember, everybody, do the long game. Thank you.